Asante kwa hii siku kuu ya ajabu. Thank you Father. Asante baba. Oh we know the work you accomplish on the cross of Calvary. Unajua kazi uliyotimiza katika msalaba wa Calvary. Here we, we are here to celebrate your name. Hapa tuko kusherekea utenzi wako. Thank you for your wonderful presence in this meeting. Asante kwa utenzi uwepo wako mkuu kwa mkutano huu. Thank you Father. Asante baba. Hide us behind the cross. Tupiche nyuma msalaba. Ili people may see. Ili watu wakuone. And we give glory to your name. Wapatie utukufu jina lako. In Jesus name I pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. We can be seated in the presence of God. Tunaweza keti katika uwepo wa Mungu. We say we have every reason to celebrate. Tumesema tuko na kila sababu ya kusherehekea. We were looking for title, the title of this plot. Tulikuwa tunatafuta eh, cheti miliki cha mahali hapa. We are happy to announce we have received. Tuko na furaha na kacha tumepokea. Kwa ina utukufu wa jina lake. We also want to announce. Nataka pia kutangaza that every week, every Wednesday, Akwamba, kila jumatano, uh, from 2 p.m. to 2 p.m. Kwa dia sana, from 8, 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. Kwa dia sambili, eh, usiku, hadi sam, eh, sambili na nusu usiku, in a partnership with Pedro TV, they will be covering Let's now turn to the word of God. The pastor was talking about the, the benefits of the cross of Calvary. Tunaya alikuwa anasungumzia faida za msalaba wa Calvary. That even when Jesus, on the palm day, when he entered triumphantly in Jerusalem, he was cognizant of his death. That he was going to meet death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the purpose of deliverance of the redemption of humanity. So the journey starts on the palm day. The palm day. The safari inaanza katika ile siku ya mitende. Moves up to two. This time we are preparing for the, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why I want to teach something very powerful, waiting for your promise. Waiting for your promise. When somebody promises you something, Mutu, you become stressed to wait for it. Mutu, kitu, na ile hari ya Let's turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 61 to 66. Matayo, Shirina Saba, Sina Moja, and Sina Sita. We are reading from Matthew chapter 26, 27. Matthew 
Matthew chapter 27. Matthew 27. From verse 6 to 1. Welcome to the last in Amoja. And there was Mary Magdalene, and the other Mary sitting over, over against the sunlight. And now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees came together and to Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that our deceiver said, while he was yet alive, that after three days I rise again. Sixty-four. And he commanded therefore that the supplies he made be made sure that the third day these his disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead. So the last era shall be worse than the first. So no good soil. Matayo, Shirina Saba, Pandestina Moja. A Pade, while you walk on Maria Magdalena, a Maria Mule or Pili, or Mekati Kuelekea Kapuri. Ata Sibia Pili, Dio Ilio, Baada Yamandalio. Wakuwa mabuhani na mafarisayo waka, waka, waka kusanyikia pilato Wakasema, wana, tumekumbuka kwa mba yule mjanja alisema Anumukua angale hai, baada ya siku tatu watakufuka hmm. Basi amuru kwa mba kaburi lilingwe salama hata siku ya tatu Wasige wanafunzu wati wakamuiba na kuambia watu amefufuka katika wafu Waiting for your promise. Tell your neighbor, waiting for your promise. One of the distressing time is when you are waiting for someone. You are waiting for something, you are not sure when it will come. That is a very stressing moment in your life. I don't know what you are waiting for. In this Easter. Some people are waiting for their dreams to be fulfilled. Some are waiting for the healing of their bodies. Some are waiting for their marriage to be made better. When you are waiting, the enemy will attack you with three things. You will impart in you the spirit of doubt. You will put in you the spirit of impatience. You will also put in you the spirit of internal conflict. Ataweka dani mwako ime roo ya vita biyanani You will fight within yourself Yani kutakua vita dani mwako we mwenyewe Wondering whether this problem shall come to pass Unashanga kama iya hadi takuja kutimia But I want to echo the words of Habaku Nataka nirudie maneno ya Habakuku In Habakuku chapter 2 was released and there Habakuku mili tatu geuke pali Habakuku mili tatu Isubaili kinasema hivi Maana jozi Hii bado ni kwa wakati kulia mriwa Inafanya haraka ili kufikilia mwisho wake Wala haitasema uongo Ijapo kawia 
ingojei kwa kuwa haina budi kuja haina budi kuja haita kawia for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry when God promises something, I will come to tell you our God is a faithful God. Whatever He has promised shall come to come. What He has promised you through prophecies, through vision and dreams, it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor it shall come to pass. Whatever God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor God has promised shall come to in your life, in my life, it shall come to me. Tell your neighbor it shall come to me. I ever know it may take. It shall come to me. In the book of uh, of Proverbs 23 verse 18. Before I come to what I want to share, I'm laying that foundation so that you get what I'm talking about. So I work as so well, then we we'll put Proverbs 23, verse 18. Dali sherina tatu kwa mna nane Mangike na sema hini Ana Bila shaka iko dawabu Na tumaini lako Halita pandilika Halita pandilika There is assurance from the word of God Kuna hakikisho That your expectation Shall not be cut off Agwaba Tarajio lako halita katua Whatever God has promised shall come to pass. I declare to you that your expectation shall come to pass. It may tarry, but it shall come to pass. At the appointed time of God, God will fulfill every prophecy and every dream about your life. Kwa kati wa delivery wa Mungu, Mungu atatimiza kila maono na ndoto kuhusu maisha yako. The expectation of the righteous shall, shall not be cut off. Matarajio ya mwenye haki haitakatwa. Say amen. 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 Your expectation shall not be cut off. Matarajio yako haitakatwa. The dream shall be fulfilled. In the book of Matthew, which we read, the disciples of Jesus were in a distressing moment. After the death of Jesus Christ, Jesus had promised the world. That after three days we rise again. The time between the death of Jesus and the resurrection of Jesus, three days were days of stressing. They did know what would happen. In the fact, people like Paul, Peter wanted to go back to their former prophet. Jesus met a group of disciples on their way to a mount. They were so disturbed and confused. 
walikuwa wamesungulwa na kuchanganyikiwa they did know, did know what jesus had promised will come to pass hawakojua kile yesu aliahidi kitakuja kutimia i have told you brethren nimewaambia wapendwa it is difficult time when you are waiting for something ni wakati mgumu iwapo unasubiri kitu you are expecting something to happen unatarajia kitu kitendeke and you seem not to be sure if it will happen na hauna hakikisho kwamba itatendeka and that is the time the enemy takes advantage of your life na huu ni wakati shetani anachukua nafasi kwa maisha yako temptations come at the time of waiting Majarabio yanakuja wakati wa subira. Young men have fallen prey to the enemy at the time of waiting for money. Vijana wameanguka kwa mikono ya adui wakati wanasubiria ndoa zao. The time of expecting something is a terrible time. Wakati wa matarajio ya kitu ni wakati mgumu. You are waiting for a miracle you don't know how it will come. Unasubiria mujiza haujui utakuja aje. I am speaking to someone who is waiting. Na nena na mtu ambaye anasubiria. I don't know what you are waiting for. Sijui unasubiria nini. But this is a terrible time. Lakini huu ni wakati mgumu. May you not fall prey to the enemy. Usiamuke katika mikono ya adui. When you are waiting for the things that God has promised. Wakati unangojea vitu ambavyo Mungu ameahidi. The disciples were confused. Wanafunzi walikuwa wamechanganyikiwa. They became disturbed. Wakawa wanasumbuliwa. Some were wanted to retreat to their own prophet. Wengine wao walitaka kurudia kazi zao za awali. I tell you brethren nawaambieni wapendwa without the resurrection of Jesus pasipo kufua wa Yesu there is no need of preaching the gospel hakuna haja ya kuhubiri injili and we will not have preach the gospel na tungehubiri injili Easter is important for the church pasaka ni muhimu kwa kanisa it in fact it lay the foundation of the pentecostal church hata hivyo iliweka msingi wa kanisa la pentecoste it lay the foundation of the church Iliweka msingi wa kanisa. Uh -huh. Amen. We are here today. Tuko hapa leo because Jesus is resurrected. Kwa sababu Yesu alivufunga. Tukaambia watu nini? Wanaboleka kwa jamani. Kama Yesu angevufuka, oh, tukaambia yeah. watu nini? Yeah. There was nothing we didn't have a story. Yeah. We didn't have anything to tell uh -huh. people. But we have something to say Jesus overcame death. He overcame the cross. He resurrected. Atakuwa na kitu, atakuwa na hakika kuambia kitu watu. Lakini tuna sababu kuna hakika kuambia watu, Yesu alifufuka, Yesu alishinda mauti. The reason why they were stressed sababu hiyo wafanya kusononeka they didn't know what to tell the world hawakujua wapi ulimwengu nini they didn't know how to confirm what jesus said hawakujua jinga kudhibitisha kile yesu alisema i want to speak to somebody nataka niongeleshe mtu you are waiting for your promise unaongojea ahadi yako i tell you it shall return na kuambia itachelewa but it will come to pass lakini itatimia whatever god has promised chochote mungu ameahidi you are promise and ministry The ministry is coming. Huduma unakuja. You are promised a wife. Umeahidiwa mke. Your wife is coming from. Mke wangu anakuja kutoka bikoni. You are promised a job. Umeahidiwa kazi. God will release that job. Mungu atachilia hiyo kazi. And the appointed time of God. Wakati uliozotiwa Mungu shall come to pass. Ende amaahidi kitakuja kutumia. Let me show you something from the scripture. Wacha nikuonyeshe kitu kutoka kwa maandiko. This was a stressing time for the disciples. Ulikuwa wakati mgumu sana kwa wanafunzi. The devil had stepped in. Shetani alikuwa ameingia ndani. He had brought doubt in the hearts of the disciples. Alikuwa ameleta shauku katika mioyo ya wanafunzi. He had brought discouragement in the hearts of the disciples. Alikuwa ameleta haja kushushwa katika mioyo za wanafunzi. He had imparted impatience in their spirit. Alikuwa ameweka haja kutofumilia katika roho zao. And that's why they were contemplating of going back to their old prophet. Ipostle walikuwa wanataka kurudia zile taaluma zao. But let me show you something. Lakini wacha nikuonyeshe kitu. What God has promised you shall come to pass. Ile Mungu amekuwa hivi kitakuja kutimia. That's why Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Ipostle Jeremiah 
We are not reading that one. You can read later. For I know the plans I have for you. They are not plans to destroy you. Enemy wants to destroy your vision. He wants to destroy your marriage. He wants to destroy your business. But God is saying. I have good plans for you. The plans will exalt you. The plan to fulfill your wish. The plan to enlarge your space. The plan to fulfill what I promised to you. I have come to say the Lord has good plans. The devil may not have good plans. Your neighbor may not have good plans. But there are good plans in the in the in, in in the, in, the, in the books of God. The plan to prosper. And the Bible says now. When the time for the resurrection was nearing. The, the Pharisees, the Jewish people, formed a committee. Maparisayo wa Yahudi wakatengeneza kakikundi. The enemies of the cross. Maadui wa musanaba. They began to conspire about the resurrection of Jesus. Wakaanza kupangilia mipango mipango kuhusu kufo wa Yesu. They said this deceiver. Wakasema huyu mjanja. They call Jesus a deceiver. Waniita Yesu mjanja. You are complaining some people are calling you a liar. Unalalamika watu wengine wanakuita mwongo. Some are calling you a prostitute. Wengine wanakuita kahaba. Some are calling you a confused person. Wengine wanakuita mtu aliyechanganyikiwa. They call Jesus a liar. Waniita Yesu mwongo. I tell you brethren. Nawaambieni wapendwa. Give them time to call you all the names. Because you are not an opinion of a man. I am not an opinion of any woman. I am not an opinion of my neighbor. I am not an opinion of my husband. You will call you a dog, yet you are not a dog. He can call you a monkey, yet you don't look like a man. I have come to say, you are not an opinion of me. You are not an opinion of your boss. You are not an opinion of your husband. 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 You are not an opinion of your husband.
Lazima tuwe na fikisha vitu hivi. We must be certain that he does not come out. Lazima kuhakikisha mama atoki. I don't know what they are planning for you. Sijua nakupangia nini. But he shall not come to pass. Lakini haitakuja kutimia. He will not stop the plan of God. Hata mipango ya Mungu kwa maisha yako. I declare to you that whatever they are planning shall not stand to utter the plan of God for your life. God cannot delay to fulfill his promise because some people are planning negative things. Mungu hawezi chelewa kutimiza ahadi zake kwa sababu watu wengine wanapata mambo mengine ya kinyume. God cannot delay to bring a husband because some people are going to a witch doctor. Mungu hawezi chelewa kuleta mume wa mume wake kwa sababu watu wengine wanaenda kwa mganga. God cannot delay. Mungu hawezi chelewa. Because people are annoying. Whatever God has planned for your life, has come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Whatever God has said. In the prophecy. In the dreams. In the vision. Surpasses what other people have said. In a pizza kill. Pastor has just preached here. He blotted out the handwriting of the enemy. He blotted out the handwriting of the enemy. What people had written about me was 